What's up guys, Brandon here from TechFlare, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Haspian OS on your Raspberry Pi so you can use Home Assistant with all your super cool smart home tech. Now, if you don't know what Haspian is, it's basically a uh, the official operating system of um, Home Assistant. Now, they do have two. They have uh, Has.io operating system and they have Haspian OS. Um, the Has.io operating system is located on their website for to download. Um, I tried that one and it just didn't really work for me. I don't know why, but it didn't. Uh, so I use the Haspian image, um, which can be find, found on this GitHub website. So I'll link it down below in the description box and you can find it, click that, and then download it. Um, so this is how to set it up. So basically go to the website in the description and you'll see the uh, pre-release and the latest release. Um, I have not tried the pre-release, but I do I do currently use the latest release. Um, so I recommend downloading the latest release because the pre-release might have some bugs and problems and stuff. Um, so basically what you're going to want to do is go to whichever one you want. You can do either one um, and click the zip file. Don't get the source code or the tar.gz source code. Get the Haspian image that is a .zip file. Just click that and it'll ask you to confirm that you want to download it. Click yes. And then once it finishes downloading, you're going to unzip it using your native file explorer. Um, unzipper or whatever program you want to use to unzip it. And then if I can open File Explorer There we go. So you will be able to find it in the downloads folder and it will look like um, this. So it'll be haspian 1.223.zip and then you'll just right click it and come on <sighs> and you'll just click unzip somewhere on here. I can't see it but yeah Yeah, you'll just click Extract All, or you can use 7-Zip or whatever you want. So to get this to your operating system, you're going to want to open either Win32 Disk Imager or Etcher. Okay, hold on one second. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So basically, you're going to go to wherever either Win32 Disk Imager or Etcher is. Um... So mine is in, not here, right here. Mine is in this PC, Windows. Sorry, my computer is so slow, guys. It's really having a hard time uh, getting doing all this stuff while screen recording. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, no, no. It's in downloads. There we are. So, what you're going to do is select image. Just click select image. And it's pretty much the same on um, Win32 Disk Imager as well. Again, both links are going to be in the description below to download. So, I'm going to go to downloads, has been. And the nice thing about this is you can put in a .zip and it'll still work. And then you'll just select your memory card. Um, I don't have one connected because I've already done this. So just select your memory card, make sure you've got the right one. And just click flash and that's all you gotta do. Should take, I don't know, probably 10-15 minutes. Um, then it should be good to go. And then just plug it into your Raspberry Pi and I'll show you the next steps in just a second. Okay, 
for me stop my screen recording. Alright, so we're going to go downstairs and I'm going to show you how to plug in the Raspberry Pi. Alright, so we are at the router. Let me turn the light on real quick. Alright, so here's the Raspberry Pi. This is my router. I'm using a Verizon router. Um, so basically, all you have to do is plug in an Ethernet cord to your Raspberry Pi and a power cord to it as well. And then plug that Ethernet cord into one of the Ethernet ports on your router. So I just did it to the first one. And once the light starts blinking, that means it's good to go. And then my router also has a USB port. So I just plugged the Pi's power straight into my router. So once you do those things, guys, you will be set and ready to go. Alright guys, so that is how to set up your Raspberry Pi with Hasbian OS. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to hit that big subscribe button right on my face, right here. And also, there's two videos about here and here that you definitely are going to want to click on. So definitely click on it. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.